On this old slide, you can see how my parents displayed the present for my 13th birthday. And for my 12th birthday, I swapped an expensive Lego Technics helicopter for this Lamborghini Countach scale model. But then, what did I do with it? I placed it on the shelf, next to my other cars, and from time to time, looked at it. Nothing more. With the internet not existing yet, there were only magazine photos, the occasional TV show, and sometimes a local car show. I imagined supercars would drive amazing, being super fast and super comfortable at the same time. Well, you know what they say, don't meet your heroes. My favorite car, the Countach, isn't exactly known for comfort. As I grew older, my interest for cars completely vanished. And I even started disliking them. Only when I got 30 years old, I got my first car. Used. For my new profession. And two years later, looking for something with more space, I saw this. Ever since I bought this used car, I've had a love-hate relationship with cars. My interest for cars was always based on visual appearance and not traffic. And then I found it. A pre-owned car that was something special for real. ultimate version of the Alfa Romeo 159. The best looking practical car ever made. Nearly timeless and a rare sight, which makes it even more special. In this unique color, Rosso Competizione, you almost never see it. So how does owning a very special car make you feel? It's the old story. A man buys the thing he dreamed of as a kid. It's the whole reason classic cars are so expensive. Apparently, you need to buy an actual car to feel the same joy you felt as a kid when getting a simple scale model. And indeed, that's what happened. I felt happy as a kid for a couple of days. Then came the fear for damage, scratches on the complex paint and mileage depreciation awareness. The plan was to sell the car after two years, to have the experience at least for once. And two years later, I did not sell it, because it's the first product in my life that never became normal after a while. Every time I see it, Every time I get in or get out and walk away, it keeps being special. When I arrive somewhere with this car, sometimes I almost feel shame. You see, it's not exactly the kind of car you expect a sound guy to show up in. Many times, this is the only car I want to drive. Other times, I wish I had something simple. Driving this is different kinds of special. Most of the time, there is no space to enjoy the car whatsoever. On the contrary. Besides that, this car also has its quirks. With a very low bottom plate, small booth opening for a station, low bottom plate, very grippy clutch, Low bottom plate and very wide rims prone to damage. But I'm happy with everything else though, especially the sport brakes. In conclusion, it's a love hate relationship, and I think that's what owning a supercar will be like as well. It's special and pointless at the same time. My advice, don't do it. It gets to you. It makes owning a car more complex than it should. I'm not selling it though. This is not a car channel. Holy Christ. I'm curious what next you'd like to see.
I could tell you about the green flash, or iridescence, or the seven-segment number. Let me know.